For the first time in two years, weekly data show that homes are not selling faster. Hey, I'm Sharon Colon, your favorite Miami real estate agent with Home Miami Realtors, and I'll be discussing the most recent weekly housing report from Realtors.com. They basically post recent market updates, and in their latest report, they have stated that sales of homes have not accelerated since last year nationwide. Let's further discuss it in detail. This is the latest article on Realtors.com website, right? The weekly housing trends 2022. It says that even though the properties are still being sold at a higher rate, it also states that if current patterns continue, the time it takes for a house to sell on the market is probably going to increase. But does it reflect what is actually happening? Moreover, the article says low time on market signals, ample demand from buyers relative to what's for sale. Also mention it as a being one of the many elements that increases a seller's confidence in their ability to sell their home quickly and for a good price. Furthermore, it states that the housing prices have not decreased paired up with the change in market situation affecting the house sellers due to which for the third consecutive week fewer homeowners decided to list their homes for sale. As a result of that, growth in active for sale inventory has slowed down but luckily for buyers the amount of choices is increasing. The article also referenced the Fed's latest meeting where you know another 75 basis point increase was announced which decreased house demand and in the near future additional cooling in demand is anticipated my friend according to the realtors.com latest data the middle listing price grew by 16.6 percent over last year but with softening demand and rising supply it seems that the home price growth will continue to ease and slow down in the second half of the year. But is the demand actually listening? What are you seeing? I would love to know. Let's talk now about one of the best research for housing data, which is Altos Research. Altos Research tracks every home for sale in the country. The latest blog on Altos Research stated that there are currently 508,000 single family homes for sale in the whole US and a weekly 3.6% increase. The inventory was increased by 6 to 8% every week a month ago, but now it stands at 36 or let's say less than 4%. Now, comparing the data provided by NAR, existing home sales fell in June 2022 with declines in three out of four major U.S. regions month over month and down in all regions year over year. Well, this is huge. 5.4% decrease month over month and 14.2% decrease year over year to be exact. Nationwide, we're seeing here a huge indicator of a shift in market. Let me show you a very interesting breakdown of home sales by region. This graph by NAR shows the home sales divided by region in which the maximum sales are in the south which is 44% and the lowest 13% in the Northeast. Moving on, Altos.com shows that the median home price of a single family home in the US is $451,000 compared to the median price of new listings, which dropped 12% from the previous week to $400,000. And this is something to definitely keep an eye on. While the data by NAR says that median home price nationwide increased 13.4% from one year ago to $416,000. A new record high nationwide, my friend. Now, in addition to that, month supply of inventory nationwide increased to three months of inventory from 2.5 months in June. Now, let's talk a little about the first half years for closure activity by year data by Adam Data. The first half of 2022 for closure market report shows there were a total of 164,000 years properties with foreclosure filing. And this is during the first six months of 2022, okay? However, according to the Adam article in data, that figure is up 153% from the same time period a year ago, but down just 1% from the same time period two years ago. And of course, as you can see in the graph in 2010, the foreclosure activity was 1.6 million 
property. Moving on to the affordability chart given on realtor.com, they have this chart and map here where they are showing what areas in the US are the most and least affordable in today's market. Where the least affordable market is 0.29 and the most affordable is 1.12. Now to ease it for you, it's a measure of a person's ability to afford a property compared to their income. So at the national level, the affordability score is 0.29. 62 according to the report if we break it down into different regions in florida the miami fort lauderdale area has an affordability rate of 0.42 less than their national average tampa 0.48 less than average right and similarly in new york it's 0.47 and in the orlando kissimmee area it's 0.48 now the least affordables according to this report are san diego with an affordability rate of 0.29 and los angeles with 0.31 now let's go back to the most affordable. The most affordable are Youngstown in Ohio with 1.12 and Toledo in Ohio with 1.10. And we cannot forget the price reductions, right? Here is a graph from the Altos Research website showing the reduction in the house selling price. For example, in 2018, the price reduction peaked at 37.2%, but now, and so far, it's at 33.3%. Summing up all the data and articles nationwide the data shows for the first time that properties are not selling fast like they used to a year ago they're reporting some patterns and indicators of a shift in market like the one i just mentioned right but also reporting that probably because of inflation sellers are not selling meaning less increase of new inventory on the market from the data and graphs we saw the important recent drops in new listings price but not yet indicative of big price and weakness definitely something to keep an eye our eyes on and of course the weakened demand because of the increase of interest rates so definitely so many things going on right now to keep our eyes on so what do you think what are you currently seeing on your market if you are in another state do you believe a crash is coming let me know i would love to know i would love to your your comments in the section below if you like this video press the like button for more videos like these and by subscribing to my channel and pressing the bell icon you will be notified every time i upload new videos like this one don't forget to be nice and be kind see you next time bye bye